Today's three-in-one villain is a character whose name has been on the lips of every Transformers fan this year, thanks to his unexpected appearance in the new Bumblebee movie. As he takes his first bow in live action, it's time to get the basics on Blitzwing. The original Blitzwing toy was first released in Japan in 1984 as part of Takara's Diaclone toy line in a grey and green colour scheme, then imported by Hasbro and given a new purple and tan paint job to become part of the second year of the Transformers line in 1985. Blitzwing was a triple changer, able to convert from robot to two different alternate modes, a Type 74 Japanese tank and a MiG-25 jet fighter. The profile for Blitzwing, written by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, described him as a brash, belligerent loudmouth who found humour in cruelty. Blitzwing joined the cast of the original Generation 1 animated series part way through its second season, though like most of the new second year characters, no explanation was offered for where he had come from. He was usually a straightforward Decepticon goon, but he got a sudden surge of ambition in his showcase episode, Triple Takeover, in which he conspired with fellow Triple Changer Astro Train to imprison Megatron and Starscream and seize command of the Decepticons. Ambition didn't make Blitzwing any smarter, however. He proceeded to mistake a football coach for a military strategist and recruited the man to make tactical decisions for him. Needless to say, it didn't end well for the traitorous Triple Changers. The continued availability of Blitzwing's toy in 1986 ensured him a brief but memorable appearance taking on Hot Rod and Cup in The Transformers The Movie, and a key role in the opening arc of the subsequent third season of the cartoon. When the Decepticons allied themselves with the alien Quintessons, a nagging, inexplicable memory of the aliens that he couldn't fully recall convinced Blitzwing that they were not to be trusted. Unable to convince his leader Galvatron of this fact, Blitzwing had no choice but to join forces with the Autobots to ensure the Quintessons' plans to betray their allies and conquer Cybertron were stopped. For siding with the enemy, Galvatron banished Blitzwing from the Decepticon ranks. His story was meant to continue into the episode Starscream's Ghost, but during production, its script was rewritten to feature the new 1986 Triple Changer toy Octane instead, leaving Blitzwing's change of heart never to be followed up on. He appeared among the Decepticons again without comment in the Japanese exclusive sequel series The Headmasters, but his mysterious memory of the Quintessons would not be forgotten. Many years later, in 2005, Takara re-released the original Blitzwing toy in its Diaclone colours, and marketed it as a mass-produced Quintesson drone known as an Overcharge, further hinting at a possible connection between Blitzwing and the aliens. Now, Blitzwing didn't manage to attain such notability in the Marvel comic, in which he debuted as one of the Decepticons serving in the court of Lord Straxus on Cybertron. He, Astro Train, and Octane would later join the Decepticon forces on Earth, but their arrival on the planet was an unpleasant one, as they all contracted an infection of metal-eating scraplets. Eventually, the discontinuation of Blitzwing's toy in 1987 saw him phased out of the comic, as he became one of the many Transformers taken offline by a cosmically empowered Starscream. Now, strangely, neither the Marvel comic nor the animated series treated Blitzwing and the other Triple Changers' unique three-mode transformation powers with any kind of fanfare. It was Dreamwave Productions who were the first to give them special attention in their comic books in the early 2000s, depicting Blitzwing as the first Triple Changer who developed the ability through a natural mutation. Decepticon scientist Shockwave studied Blitzwing as his mutation proceeded, helping guide it to completion and replicating the effect on other Transformers. Blitzwing was back to goon status in IDW Publishing's Transformers comic books a few years later, an ever-present member of the Decepticon forces during their various campaigns on Earth, Cybertron, and other worlds, but one who rarely distinguished himself. Indeed, Blitzwing's most notable role in this continuity was the last one he had to play. 
After he was captured by the Human Earth Defense Command, Blitzwing was turned over to government contractor Miles Mayhem, who vivisected the unfortunate Decepticon and used what he learned to perfect his own transforming vehicle technology, leading to the birth of the mobile armored Strike Command, Mask. The first new incarnation of Blitzwing was introduced in 2007 in Transformers Animated. Just like his Generation 1 counterpart, Animated Blitzwing was a triple changer with tank and jet alternate modes. But his mind had been affected by the procedure that had given him this ability, meaning he didn't just have three modes, he had three split personalities to go along with them, each represented by one of three spinning faces. The first was an icy cold strategist who controlled his jet mode and its freeze rays. The second was a violent hothead who controlled his tank mode and its flame cannons. And the third was a cackling random nutcase. With a design that evoked a monocled German soldier and an accent to match, that's wins! Readings indicate that one of them has the Allspark fragment. I will destroy them both! Blitzwing came to Earth with Lugnut, seeking revenge on Optimus Prime's Autobots for apparently destroying Megatron. But when they discovered that their leader still functioned, the two Decepticons quickly returned to his service and loyally followed him for the duration of the series. The animated character would go on to influence some depictions of the original Blitzwing. A new Blitzwing toy, released as part of the Transformers Generations line in 2013, had the three spinning faces. While the 2015 video game, Transformers Devastation, depicted the Generation 1 character with the animated character's fire and ice powers. He was back to normal for the 2017 Titans Return toy line. Mostly, as for this release, Blitzwing's head was formed by the Titan Master Hazard, who gave Blitzwing the power to make other Transformers self-destruct. Manga packaged with the Japanese release of this figure finally resolved the long-standing mystery of Blitzwing's connection to the Quintessons from the original cartoon, revealing that he had originally been one of the alien's overcharge drones that had gained independence. When trailers for the Bumblebee live-action movie arrived in summer 2018, most fans assumed that the Decepticon seen in them was Starscream, because he really looks like Starscream. But soon it was revealed that it was actually Blitzwing making his live-action debut. His role in the movie ultimately proved to be a minor one. He tracked Bumblebee down on Earth at the start of the film and attacked him, inflicting the famous injuries that caused the little Autobot to lose his voice, before B was able to use one of the Decepticons' own missiles to destroy him. Unnamed in dialogue and sporting only in F4 jet mode, evidently reimagined as one of the many Decepticon seekers who share Starscream's design, the on-screen character has no real resemblance to any past incarnations of Blitzwing. But the movie's comic book prequel would establish a greater connection, depicting him with classic jet and tank triple-changing abilities. And it also fleshed out his backstory, revealing that he was an old enemy of Bumblebee's who was responsible for the apparent death of a turncoat Decepticon named Diabla who Bumblebee had grown close to. Add to that the fact that the Bumblebee toy line is set to include at least one figure of Blitzwing with a jet mode and another with a tank mode, and it's obvious that whatever's on screen, this new incarnation of the character won't be escaping the influence of the triple-changing original anytime soon. And those are the basics on Blitzwing. I'd ask who your favorite incarnation is, but you've basically only got two options. As always, like, share, subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas. The basics will be back in the new year for a little something special. Stay tuned for more from the world of the Transformers.